I obviously, well, maybe not so obviously, but I think to most people, I would obviously, if I go on hookup sites or chat sites that are gay-oriented, I tend to go to the bear sites. And you know, I'm, I'm still going to go to those, but I, I was thinking to myself, you know, how are bears ever going to be considered part of the mainstream if we're always segregating ourselves, if we're always hiding on bear sites or bear apps? You know, only hanging with bears. Um, it's, it's kind of, there's kind of a clickish element to that, isn't there? Like I said, it's kind of, it's segregation. Um, do I really want to do that? I, so I just gave it some thought and I'm like, you know, over this past week I have uh, signed up to a number of, um, just regular hookup apps and chat apps and that sort of thing and chat sites and uh, just go into detail about what I like and what I'm about and um, what I like to look at, what I my, my kinks are and all of that and uh, you know, the gaining thing, the pits thing, the beards thing, the, you know, and you know, it doesn't matter if nobody responds to me. It doesn't matter. That that makes absolutely no difference. If people, nobody even talks to me on these places. That makes no difference. What makes a difference is having my presence there at all. When they'll be looking through things and they see this person, that's not a typical person that's on this app. It doesn't matter if they ever respond. It's just knowing that people are there. Or maybe this seems silly, I don't know, but I also don't want to block myself from a possible good friendship, you know, a good conversation, getting to know someone that's rather interesting, you know, and if the only places I'm going, oh, I'm a bear and I'm going to go to a bear site, it's like, well, if that's the only thing I'm doing, I, I just, it, it just... When I went to this gathering, this this gathering on uh, this this last weekend, it you know hanging around all these people, it just got like me thinking, you know, I have a good time with these people. I have a it's it's good. Why the rest of the time do I just go to these the bear stuff? Bears, bears, bears. There's a lot of cool people out there. Um, well, obviously here on YouTube I talk to a lot of people, but I'm just I'm just saying when I when I go to these these apps or these websites that are gay oriented I always have went to the bear stuff I don't well anyway I mean like I said I'm not gonna stop going to those but I I don't want to just limit myself to those and limit myself only to those kind of conversations if I talk to other gay people it, it'd be nice if I had a nice assortment of people to talk with about it um you know as long as they accept me I'm gonna accept them so I mean <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just kind of rambling on this, but um, I, I don't want to disassociate myself with the rest of the gay community. I don't want to just be this in this little bitty sliver and then everything else, oh, I can't be that. Oh, give me a break. So, um, I'm not really sure where to go now with this, but... I had a really good time on the weekend. I there were some frustrations at the gathering, like the broken glass in the gravel everywhere, so I can't walk barefoot at a place that's supposed to be a nudist area. But you know, and there was some little there was a little drama here and there. Um, but you know, it was a good gathering. I had a good time, and it got me thinking. So anyway. <laughs>